Hello my Maui and Xamarin friends, thank you for joining me for a very very quick video on uh, how to implement over 6000 vector style icons to your Maui project. I've just done this and doing a bit of testing on Maui at the moment so I'll just talk through very quickly what I did and and just show you in the project. So firstly I'm using the, oh I forgot everything, I'm recording which is better than last week. Um, I've got my cup of tea which is great. I've got a like and subscribe, oh I haven't, no please like and subscribe and then I've got everything I need. Um, so if you Google, uh, the or you could use any search engine, but if you find um, this material design icons and you download it like I have and you extract it to somewhere suitable, then what you'd need to do um, is bring it into your Maui project. So the way I've done this is I've created these folders, so right click on your overall project, add new folder, um, and then add a file. So we're adding an existing item to our project. It's an existing item because we've just downloaded it, we've extracted it, and when you go to the folders, if you actually do the same one as me, you just wanna show all files, and you want to make sure that you're selecting this true type file, font file. That's the one that you want. And then you want to make sure that the build action, now I'm hoping you can see this um, on camera, but there's a build action in the properties. And if you haven't got the properties window on, just right click on it and click properties. Um, and just set the build action to Maui font. The next step would be in your Maui project to add. So this is already here, this is already here. But I've added this extra line, which is the file name and I've given it an alias, a type, so you can reference it. And then all I've done is I've used a great, so I've got some uh, websites up here. So obviously you download, you extract, you bring it in, add existing item, you change the build to being a Maui font, uh, you add it to your project um, startup configuration. This is where you'd do any dependency injection registration as well. Uh, and that's most of it done and you could go away and use it as it is but I think this extra little bit here so this link from a, a, Git, a github contributor has created this where you can upload that file that you've used that specific one and it generates you a class and I'm using that as a helper class so I've put it into my project and I've got now I've got the ability instead of using the, this um, U000 zero, zero, zero. Um, I can just use the names so how do I actually use it well first things first is on whatever page you want to use these icons you need to bring in the namespace that you, you call in so you, I'm, I've named mine helpers so it's an X static helpers and then um, it's the class within there, so it's the font icon, or icon font, and now because we've done it this way, we've got a little bit of IntelliSense so we can just find them much easier. Okay, so that is how easy it is to do um, adding font icons to Maui, and it all works fine. So I'm just gonna quickly run this. And there they are, my uh, login icon, some crazy hand thing. Um, thank you for watching. If you do want this um, source code, then obviously I can upload it to GitHub, but it is fairly simple. I'll run over it very quickly one last time. Download the icon pack, extract it, upload, um, upload the specific file type, make sure you change your build and add it into your um, configuration which is here font configuration and then if you want the, to use that you can do and then you just call it by bringing it in wherever you need it um, I do like this because they're defector the icons so you can use you know much bigger sizes you don't have to have five different icon sizes for one thing which is really good um, and you can address it to buttons and um, images you might even be able to use it in other places thank you for watching take care and see you again